What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And today we're going to be talking about the law of attraction, manifestation, which was made extremely popular by the Oprah Winfrey endorsed book, The Secret, all right? So there's a dude on YouTube who keeps getting recommended to me and his name is Master Sri Akarshana. And I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing that, I'm gonna call him Master Shri, just so I don't screw up his name. But he keeps getting recommended to me, and I don't know why, that's just the way YouTube works. So finally I decided to sit down, check out a few of his videos, and he is one of those law of attraction, manifestation gurus out there. Three unexpected signs your manifestation is on its way. This is the law of attraction, and the truth is actually gonna shock you here. This is Sri Akashina, and I'm really excited to share with you these three signs, because <laughs> when I first started manifesting things, I didn't know how to recognize these things, and as a result of it, I wasn't able to actually, it's almost like, imagine what you want is on its way, and right at the end, it kind of slips, so you don't wanna let it slip. That's why we're gonna dive straight into it, but before we get into it, show real. Hit it. And check this out. Before I get started, I just want to make it very clear. Like, although I'm an atheist, like, if you have a faith, a certain type of belief system, a religion, and if that's helping you guide your life and keep you on a good path, like, more power to you. I have absolutely no problem with that. The reason why I wanted to talk about this guru, as well as some other gurus here on YouTube, is because my fear is that it can negatively impact your mental health. When people like Master Shri and others are promoting the law of attraction and manifestation, it can lead to some negative results, right? Like if things aren't working out for you, you could start to feel like maybe you're doing something wrong. You know what I mean? But something that we're gonna talk about pretty soon is science and something that's unfalsifiable because that's very, very important. And one of the other things that I have an issue with is that if you're following these gurus on here on YouTube or wherever else they're promoting their work, like you are far less likely, because you're putting all your eggs in this basket, you're far less likely to go to therapy and to work on evidence-based methods that can actually help improve your mental health, okay? But Master Shri, isn't the only person doing this. Like there's a bunch of like former monks here on YouTube and they're big on social media and they are making bank, all right? Like you have no idea how much money these dudes are making. And it, it blows my mind because I'm really into like Buddhist philosophy and stuff like that. And there's all these like former monks who are just just drowning in riches, just like Scrooge McDucking it into piles of money based on, you know, making these practices very public. And a lot of them can help you, but we have people out there like Prince EA, Jay Shetty, Jake Ducey, and this dude, Master Shri. So why, why do this? Well, it's, it's a pretty easy answer. Like, let's take a look at Master Shri's top videos, okay? They range between 820,000 and 2.2 million views, okay? A lot of them are about the law of attraction, a lot of them are about manifestation, but the number one problem is, is that they lack any kind of scientific backing, okay? I'm a man of science, but I also love philosophy. And here's the thing, when it comes to Buddhism and Buddhist practices, like, believe it or not, there's actually a lot, a lot of scientific backing behind this. Like, they have hooked monks up to brain scans and they see how their brains function differently, right? They are less susceptible to depression, less susceptible to anxiety. They are more compassionate. They are able to activate these parts of the brain and it is amazing. If you're interested in learning a bit more about that, there are a ton of books out there, but one of my favorite books is why Buddhism is True by Robert Wright. Very, very, very good book. He uses a lot of evolutionary psychology as well. It's super cool, okay? But, but here's the thing. Like, although we could find some science that actually backs up Buddhist philosophies, something that science doesn't back is the law of attraction and manifestation. And one of the main reasons being, 
One of the main reasons being is because it's unfalsifiable, all right? I'm gonna need you to say it with me real quick. Unfalsifiable, okay? So when I was checking out some of Master Shree's videos on this stuff, he has videos about why your manifestations are not coming true, why it seems like the law of attraction isn't quite working out. So how do you ignore your current reality and manifest what you want, especially when you're going through some chaos right now? So it may be in um, your finances, and maybe you want to manifest money, and maybe you want to attract love, or you know you want to attract a text message or something from somebody, and you're in that desperate need right now of that thing. So how can you ignore that current reality? Because if you stay in that vibration, and that needy vibration, in that scarcity mindset, in that fear and doubt, low vibrational mindset, it's extremely, extremely difficult to manifest. So I've got seven steps that I've used. It doesn't matter if people have broken into my house before, took my money before, or even different things with regards to relationships and everything. I've used these seven steps and it allows me to instantly shift my vibrations to get back on track and manifest what I want instantly. So if you wanna do that, then make sure to stay tuned in this video. And here is the issue with it. So check this out. So somebody like Master Shri or anybody else promoting the law of attraction, if you get something that you desire, something that you want, all right, boom. There it is, baby. The universe is out there to help you get what you want. But if the law of attraction and manifesting what you want doesn't work, oh, I guess the universe just had different plans for you. You see what I mean? There is no way to falsify this practice because their explanation just gears you right back towards it, right? Like there is no form of even evidence-based psychology that works 100% of the time for 100% of the people. There are explanations as to why it doesn't work that can be proven by science rather than this kind of self-justification and cognitive dissonance of, oh, it didn't work for you? Well, here, let me let me keep promoting this thing and I, I can figure out a way to explain why. So when it comes to Master Shri and the law of attraction and manifestation, let's actually turn to some science. Let's see what psychology actually has to say about this, all right? So this right here is Gabrielle Odingen and she is a professor of psychology at New York University, and she also wrote an awesome book called Rethinking Positive Thinking, okay? And she discovered, she discovered that trying to manifest your desires is actually completely counterproductive, and here's why. So it turns out that our brains are actually terrible at separating reality from fantasy. All right, so when you are making your vision board or trying to manifest your dreams, right? When you're doing this, your brain believes that you already accomplished that thing, right? This is the same with like visualizing that thing that you want. So what happens when your brain believes that you already accomplished that goal? It stops putting resources towards accomplishing that goal, all right? So you can sit there and manifest it until the cows come home, but you are far less likely to put in the work that it will take to get those things that you want, all right? So when you hear about this manifestation stuff, just realize that it's actually holding you back from pursuing what you really want. And one of the other issues that I have, right? And here's one of the reasons why I love Buddhism is because it helps us rethink our values and rethink our desires. Like the law of attraction and one of the reasons that people like Master Shri and Jay Shetty like blow up on YouTube is because we are such a capitalistic society, right? We think that having a new car is gonna make us happy. Having that new house, having stuff or that lavish vacation, all these other things, we believe that those things are going to make us happy. Something when it comes to Buddhist philosophy, and which this is why it surprises me that these monks are all about like, hey, manifest becoming a millionaire, right? Like. We, we discover that these things don't make us happy. And I'm living proof of that. I used to make a boatload of money back in my addiction and I was at 
absolutely miserable. And I was so confused why. But the reality was, was that I was being sold a bill of false goods my entire life. I was told that if I could just get that thing, then I would be happy. So that's another reason why I want you all to be very skeptical if you're coming across these videos about the law of attraction and manifestation, because even if the universe works out in your favor and you get that thing that you want, just realize there is no guarantee that that thing will make you happy. Another book I highly recommend is Stumbling on Happiness. This is from one of the top positive psychology researchers. And what he's discovered is that we are awful. We are awful at predicting what will and won't make us happy, all right? So to kind of wrap this video up, I just wanna make it very clear. There is a ton of science behind how positive thinking, um, re reframing the way you're thinking or your experiences, all these things and how you, you work with your own mind, there is scientific proof that these things work, but, Something that doesn't work because there's no science behind it is the law of attraction and manifestation, okay? So listen, if you like watching this stuff, if it helps put you in a positive mindset, um, I recently read some books that that implemented a lot of this stuff and like talking about your vibrations and everything and I'm like, uh-uh, uh-uh. But anyways, I can see how it puts you in a positive state of mind and kind of encourages you to move forward. If that's what you're looking for with this stuff, like do your thing, baby, do your thing. But again, my fear is that if you rely too much on this stuff that has absolutely no grounding in science, you're not going to put in the work that it really takes to improve your mental health. You know what I mean? But anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody who supports the channel over on Patreon, as well as everybody who supports the channel by buying my mental health books at TheRewiredSoul.com or the merch that you see right below this video. All right, thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.